Alex Lowe's shown on Sunday at Phillip Island. He won both Super Bowl race and race 2, what a fantastic day for the Kawasaki rider. Who would have thought, the Briton stunned Alvaro Bautista on the last lap, with an incredible overtaking from the outside, abroad at Lukey Height, a point where passing is very difficult. The surprises on Phillip Island track never end. First the great smoke from Toprock's BMW engine, entering Lukey Height. Then the great flight from Jonathan Ray, at the very fast turn 11. Shortly after, the home hero Remy Gardner entering the gravel trap with the front tire of his R1 looking flat. Due to this incident, Gardner was so angry that he hit his motorbike's tank several times. Meanwhile, Jonathan Ray remained on the ground, prompting the race direction to stop everything. Luckily, the rider did not lose consciousness and was taken to the medical center for checks. The first segment of race 2, was interrupted with a red flag due to Ray's massive crash, so that race was restarted with just 11 laps, without pit stops. A race to forget for Andrea Locatelli. A contact with Lowe's on the last lap, caused him flown away, seeing the dream of his first victory of 2024 World SBK season vanish. The battle for the final podium was between Andrea Iannone and Danilo Petrucci. After the problems suffered in the Super Bowl race, it didn't go smoothly this time either for Andrea Iannone, forced to go offline a couple of times. However, the maniac remained calm and maintained his speed until the close duel with his compatriot occurred. This time Petrucci was better, and he returning to the podium after beating Iannone. The World SBK Championship will return to the track on the 24th to the 25th of March at the Catalunya circuit. However, that won't stay still for so long, because on the 14th and 15th there will be official tests on the same circuit, organized directly by the championship promoter. It will be a very tempting opportunity especially for those who are called upon to catch up.